that in. All right, so we're starting on Battlefield. Uh, let's see what happens here. You know, this is a you know ba Battlefield has one of the largest blast zones uh, in the in the legal stage list of like any uh, stage list. And uh, Terry, kind of a heavy guy. Rob, even heavier. Same weight as Banjo and Snake. Although I guess that makes him seem light. Normally, say for the other character, be like, "Wow, as heavy as Rob." But you you get what I mean. Pretty heavy character. And, ooh, oh my god, Dill gonna be taking that first stock with an arm rotor off the side, only taking 23 damage. I'm gonna kinda play that again, because I actually didn't see what happened. Let's see, Let, let's see what happened there. Yeah, for, forget that neutral. Boom, and then boom. Ah, I see. All right. So now, basically, kind of two fresh stocks, but now Dill with a full stock lead. Uh, not what you want to, not how you want to start out. So, uh, Destiny going to have to kind of switch some stuff up. See what kind of adjustments he can make against Dill's Rob. And, like, the percents are, like, kind of even, but Destiny is pulling away. Ooh, Dill going to be taking another kill without dropping a stock. Is that going to be enough? No, Battlefield actually that actually had like plenty of space uh, when the when the uh, the knockback ended. Okay, that yeah, you can see Dill kind of flipped her hand around. Uh, I was just like, okay, I kind of miss input, uh, but Destiny going to be uh, capitalizing on that. Really good job. Uh, now finally taking a first stock. This is a really tall order because this is kind of basically like the same situation. Uh, from the previous stock. You, you know, it's been maintained ever since Dill took that, that early first kill. And, you know, that's that's normally, like, bare minimum of, like, what you exactly want uh, when you have, like, a, a lead like that. It's just like, all right, let's just uh, keep it going from here. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I mean, Destiny racking up some percent. Looking for that kill. I saw throwing out that spike. Uh, just just going to be a little bit off on uh, missing that. Ooh, I like that. Now we're seeing a potential uh, reverse three stock. Boom, boom. Okay. Destiny might have pick up, picked up all the pieces that he needs to for that recipe of uh, success. You know, Terry can hit pretty hard, but... Ooh, it's coming a little bit down to the wire. Okay. Don't touch my shield. And now we're in a scary situation. Destiny actually kind of on track to take in game one, but is what I would say if you didn't go right into a back air. God damn, this new camera looks really nice. So, Dill's going to be getting rid of Talent City. And let's see what else. Ooh, really thinking hard about this. Uh, honestly, maybe get rid of Battlefield? No, uh, maybe we'll run it back there. Not sure. We'll see what happens. But yeah, let's go through some of the. Uh, we'll, we'll, let, let's go. Let's look at the first one. Actually, I was gonna skip it, but you know, this is what kind of kept it. Uh, going a small Battlefield, by the way. Yeah. So that was that first kill. And then what did Dill do here to take the second stock? I feel like this was kind of like a little bit. Yeah. It did feel a little bit sloppy. Uh, tried to air dash for the ledge, barely misses it. And then, you know, we're not going to have enough time. Boop, boop, get out of here. Right, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. So Dill lost her first stock to kind of a miss input, and then Destiny was able to just kind of, like, keep keep it going. All right, so anyway, yeah, so Dill's bands were Town and City and Smashville. Uh, pretty, uh, that kind of makes sense, getting rid of the, uh, the close blast zone uh, stages. Um... You know, the last close blast on stage uh, that would have been that's left open is uh, Pokemon Stadium 2. But, um, you know, th there's like a whole other reasons why you might not want to go there. And uh, Destiny electing for that layout, uh, but for a smaller stage. You know, uh, the FD width uh, small battlefield is. So, yeah, here we are. So, Dill with a bit of a percent lead. 
but Destiny kind of keeping it like not letting not letting anything snowball and 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 maintaining center. Really really big uh important thing uh when you're Terry because when you have go <laughs> you might get a little bit of a trade like that and Dill goes off the top Destiny taking game one, uh, game one, stock one. I'm a, I'm getting ahead of myself, but yeah. So this is a really good situation. Uh, this is kind of what this character kind of lives for. But let's, oh, is he gonna make it out of the mini game? Does make it out of the mini game alive? Whoa, trying to go bang again. And knowing that, it might have been the true input. I don't think I saw the blue, but this is kind of a blue background, so a little bit hard to see. All right. Right now, Dill's percent is, you know, it, it's it's going up, but we're still at, like, that mid-ish amount. So, like, if Dill's able to get this kill, uh, we're going to see, like, a pretty even situation. Wah! The gyro getting caught by the air dodge. Dill didn't... Okay, up throw. That's it. Yep. All right. Uh, 60 damage. Like, obviously, Destiny still in the lead, but this isn't, like... This is, like, uh, if it was fresh and, like, he won neutral with, like, some, like, a, a good string. So with that, with that in mind, it, it, this is kind of like Dill turned. Uh, this is like she took her turn now uh, for like the, the big string, and now we have dead even percents. That's not going to be it, no. All right, we got an edge guard situation potentially. Looking for that down smash. I kind of understand that. Like maybe would have seen a, a two frame, but now Destiny over a hundred percent go is online. But not going to matter. Going to just go for the burning knuckle uh, and just, like, kind of punch through. So now, again, Dill on the back foot. Uh, stock down. Percent building a little bit faster. Uh, kind of cool things off. I hand out offstage. But we're just going to see. If Dill keeps doing air dodges like that, I think Destiny is going to start reacting and kind of going for a, a Buster Wolf. Is this going to be it? All right. Uh, survives the minigame. Boom. Nope. Goodbye. All right. That's going to be enough. That's... Oh, okay. Yeah. I, at that percent, like, unless you have a, a, a numbers mash, you're not making it out and you're going to get up smashed. Okay. So, even stocks, but kind of the exact same situation, you know, where it's like, if they started off even and, and you know, Destiny won, like, the first... Uh, interaction in neutral with like a big hit, but now is actually piling it on. This is a, this is a different result. Oh boy! What can Dill do to make it back to the stage? What can Destiny do to keep Dill off it? Uh, this is that scary stuff. Oh man, the linger of the back air. That's not yeah. Oh well, we oh, we parrying all around. Love to see it. Still getting a little bit freaked out, goes a, a kind of extra far to try and get acclimated. Whoa! I I appreciate that. You know, you weren't gonna take a too big of a punish. Well, and okay. All right. So Destiny with a back air, going to take game two. Let's see how that went. Yeah, so it goes for that that kind of a reach on the up a, on the up B, but like honestly, it, it, it's it's a good attempt because like you're not gonna eat a lot, and so it's like it's just kind of worth. It. It's like oh, if you die, you die. Cool. If I take some damage, like whatever. So yeah, this uh, came down, got gets knocked up uh, by Dill, and then with the crack shoot, comes down just with the back air. Dill going for up tilt, just misses it. I mean, like what is it? If we go. Yeah, so we'll just... You see, like, he kind of shifts himself forward. Although, honestly, that up to wasn't even close to hitting, even if he wasn't doing that. But still, like, there's still, like, a pretty good distance uh, between the two. And it's just like, yeah. And, you know, Dill extending a hurt box extra high, so now you're just going to get hit. Oh, no, Rob's up to... Rob's arms might be intangible there, but still, like, just kind of kicks her in the head, right? Poosh. Yeah. Um... Yeah, so Destiny gonna be taking game two, and now we're gonna see game three. Uh, so Destiny's bans were 
Kalos and Town and City. And Dill electing to run back to Three, Battlefield. Two, one, uh, pretty understandable. Um, this is kind of like a, a pretty go-to stage for Rob. So if you don't, if you leave it open, uh, I think Rob is going to end up taking it. You know, we got the large blast zones, uh, so Rob is able to stay alive extra long, and uh, you know, got uh, some gyro combos that can be extended with the platforms and stuff like that. Um, but I mean, like we saw that even though Dill had a super strong start in game one, uh, Destiny was able to hold his own and kind of keep things competitive. So honestly. Yeah, I understand leaving it open. It's just like, yeah, I'll do fine if you take me here. You may have won, but I, I had the download by the end of that that game one. But will Dill's music counterpick be what she needs? Ooh, that's a good crack shoot. Ooh, going extra deep, and that's kind of what you gotta do versus fighting game characters. You know, they all they normally have very strained recoveries. You kind of know where they're gonna go. There's not too much mix. So, yeah. So Dill with a super strong start, but honestly, nine, oh god, I was gonna say, 90 damage, you know, like, you can kind of live a little bit long, but when, you, like, almost got hit by that up B, and that, that might have killed, because like, it was just so high up, so, what can Dill do to, ooh, what can Dill do, do to, uh, build some damage, kind of secure this, uh, lock down this lead, uh, before Destiny starts making that comeback. Because you know Destiny is putting together a plan, trying to figure out how to how to route it. And Dill rolling toward the ledge didn't move because back already at the ledge. And the meaniness of the power dunk going to uh, punch Dill to the next stock. And now, you know, eh, not super high percent. You know, this is again like you know Dill like won the first interaction or whatever. Now. Uh, can Destiny find a turn to kind of even up the percent? Still going to get a bit of a juggle going on. This is one of the things about like a platform stage. If you if you can't come down with aerials because if you uh, when you're trying to fall through aerial uh, fall through the, the platforms, you have to be holding down. But if you do an, uh, if you do a move, you can't pass through platforms in that situation anymore. Is the mini game going to be enough? No, but it's going to have a little bit of a oh that's spooky. Oh, that back air is so active. Well, okay. Destiny could turn this around, especially if you do dumbass rolls like that. But didn't react. Okay, interesting. Dill actually taking a little bit of a page out of Zombo's book with that falling up. Uh, that falling up. Here. Okay, so I'm not super sure what actually strained uh, Destiny's recovery. I'm gonna just take a look at this real quick. Oh, might might have lost a jump from either the falling up air or. The laser. So, uh, so yeah, lost jump, had to up B, and then, and then come back. So now, this is Dill is in a good position to take this win, but you still need to rack up some damage before Destiny uh, hits you with the big buttons. Destiny definitely looks like he's got some pretty strong resolve, um, and is just trying to mitigate uh, as many hits as possible to try and see uh, even up these stocks. Uh-oh. Uh Great parry. Going to end up uh, spelling uh, a stock for Destiny. And now, we have really even percents here. This isn't even... This is, like, super fresh. So what can uh, either of these players do to try to turn into their advantage? 50 damage? Kind of nothing. Careful. Double crack shoot. Uh-oh. Things are sting uh are snowballing. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, got a bit of a got a little jab lock there. That's some uh, like you know okay damage. Are we gonna see the double crack shoot? No. Dill was uh waiting for it. So good by Destiny, keeping uh the not being too predictable. Okay, go is online. Dill's at 40, so uh -oh, oh, ooh! That's not going to be it. But now we're in a very scary situation because now we have both at high percent and one has unlimited supers. Careful. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got to start throwing everything at him in the kitchen. I do not like those nares that Dill are going for, especially the fact that Destiny has been pretty consistently uh, getting the parry. Like, 
is familiar with the matchup, is familiar with that move. So I feel like sometimes Dill's doing it and it's a scary situation. Is that going to be it? Almost. And yeah, it's all Dill like reeling back in her chair. Maybe accepting defeat there. Okay. Up. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. This time the mash came out. Good throw. A destiny. I don't. I think up throw will def. Uh, up throw from Rob should kill here. But you gotta grab him. Oh, oh! Yep. And destiny takes game three versus Dill. Excellent set. Really came down to the wire. Let's, uh, yeah. So Dill goes in with a reverse nair. And like I said, like, I wasn't a fan of those nairs. Kept getting parried and going to eat that up till the, the up B off the stage. Okay. So the next set we're going to be having is the beginning of.